Hey guys, Mark Fresh with Protect Dog Train. I figured I'd have a little small yak stash and just kind of let you know what's going on. There was a book that I just was raving about. I did an epiphany on it last week and I started sending it out privately to a lot of these, a lot of guys that I'm in discussions with and I was so excited I couldn't sleep that night. And it was, um, ah, dang it, I can't think of the name of the book right now. It's driving me nuts. I'm doing a brain blank on it. But it, it was an excellent book and it's, uh, really goes into the science of, of understanding how um, geniuses have been created all throughout the world through time. This gentleman went out and did all this different uh, uh, travel and, and checked out little pockets of learning with tennis, chess players. He talked about chess players. He talked about the, the Renaissance period when he had geniuses that were just, where did this come from? How did it occur? And his whole point of the view of the book is that this is, you build it. It's not something that's just instantaneously. It's about being in the right environment and, and, and uh, fostering that, the way the brain works and, and how it works. And he's accenting some of this with a, with a product that's called myelin, I think is the name of it, which is it wraps the sheath around the uh, electrodes and the firing that, that, that uh, give your whole thinking process and, and create a lot more firm flow through that. And we all experience it when we go through things. Learn to play guitar, learn to t play tennis, learn to, to do anything, and you're, you're having a part of this. And one of the terms he calls it is chunking. How you take apart things and, and put it together in a very systematic way of deep practice. And every day you come at it, and, the, and his accent point was that learning is created on failure. You know, you fall down and pretty soon you learn to walk. I mean, just like a child, a baby. Um, they don't learn to walk right away. They do a lot of stumbling and falling before they learn to get that balance and learn to be able to walk. Well, it's the failures that it all comes from, right? And it's that deep learning of just getting down and, and deep practice is what he calls it, deep practice, and getting down and putting that together. Well, one of the words he uses in the book is called chunking. And I've heard this word the last few years, and it's probably come from this book. Yeah, I call it the powers of twos and threes. And that's basically chunking. You're taking things in such a pattern, your pattern, and you're putting it together, and you keep working at it, coming back at it. And how I mix things up within these little pieces of the puzzle, as I call it, which is one behavior I'm trying to work on, another behavior I'm trying to work on, and I'm putting all these pieces, and I'm, and I'm wrapping it together with the powers of twos and threes. And the powers of twos and threes, okay, his word, chunking, it really gets deep because it's all about all kinds of things you can do. You do something once, twice, three times before you go on to something else. You see me doing that all the time. That's a simple way of, of saying the powers of twos and threes. But I'm doing the powers of twos and threes even deeper than that. I'm going into um, doing one behavior and then another behavior and then another behavior and I'm putting two or three of those things together. And each one of those behaviors have something, right? And so it's all about how you do what I call the mix up, right? How you mix that up and you come back to it and then you leave the dog's brain in that sweet spot where the next time he comes back, those positive thoughts are in his mind. I thank you very much. Mark Farashi, Protect Dog Training, signing off. Bye-bye.